pull it off just like that. Today we're going to be doing a removal and installation of a 2017 Toyota Corolla rear bumper. We also work for a 2014 to 2018 Toyota Corolla. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. And also, if you guys need any prepayment auto body parts for your car, go to redmoto.com, your prepayment auto body parts source. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is on, actually, let's go, let's go to the bottom right here and take off those clips. They're gonna be little uh, push clips right there. Let me show you guys underneath. So if you guys look underneath right here, there's gonna be one right there. There's a second one right here, a third one right there, and on the opposite side, there's another one just like this. And you basically take that off with a either a flathead or if you guys have one of these panel panel removal tool sets you can just go ahead and insert in there should come right off like that so go ahead and do that to all four of them on the other side too all right it started raining on us but let me just show you guys where those clips were at again so instead of four there's actually seven so there's one on this side right here one underneath right there near the exhaust in the middle there's gonna be three One right there, one right there, and then one right there, and then another one right underneath there. And then on the side of the bumper, there's gonna be another one right there. Alright, so let me show you guys how to take off this push pin. So remember there's gonna be seven of these in the bottom, two, one on each side of the bumper, and then five on the middle part of the bumper. Get a flathead like this, stick it in between, like that, and then just go to the other side. So basically, corner to corner. side same exact thing right there okay. on the side of the bumper you're gonna see a 10 millimeter right Take that light to shine right right there and just take that off with a 10 millimeter and your regular socket wrench will work so it's gonna look like this and you just get a socket wrench like this it's gonna be a 10 millimeter so we're gonna do that on the other side 
All right, the last bolt that we need to take off is gonna be right here. That's gonna be a 10 millimeter. And also right there is gonna be 10 millimeter. So once all the bolts are taken off and those push pins go to one side of the bumper, you just pull. Okay. And then we're gonna go to the other side and do the same thing. Okay. Now that the corners have been removed, we're gonna go ahead and go to the middle. Alright guys, so now we're gonna put on the new bumper. You're gonna use these let's see here. Use these bolts that was on the side of the bumper right here. That's gonna help you support the bumper while you're installing it so it doesn't fall down. So took the bumper off, but this tab right here needs to go in between these slots right there. So that would make it fit properly. So now you guys go to this side. Once the bumper's underneath the tail light, you're gonna go to this side right here, or any side, and you're gonna push it in on top of the bracket. Just like that. Right. Go ahead and Push the bumper out a little bit so it can line up and then time. And if you guys remember this little plastic push pin right here. Secure that. Then you have one of these that goes right here. All right, so remember those push pins down here. They look like this, but there's gonna be one right here, one. Oh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five of them. I only have two, so I'm gonna put them back where they were at. So remember, 10 millimeter, the little uh, plastic push pin right here, and then underneath another push pin. We'll push it in first.
if it doesn't go in all the way, try to push it out again and see what's wrong with it. So on this side right here, the bracket is broken. So you have to replace those bracket. Nine out of 10 times, like these brackets break so easily that you would need a new bracket. Like this one right here, the prong on this side broke. So that one doesn't go in correctly. But we'll repair that when the uh, customer comes back to repair their front bumper. But we'll continue on, on installing this rear bumper. So this one right here, we're gonna go ahead and do a 10 millimeter and also those uh, push pins on the bottom. Okay, the last thing is go ahead and tighten up those uh, bolts in the front or rear of the bumper. Alright guys, so that's how you install a 2017 Toyota Corolla rear bumper. 2014-2017 Toyota Corolla for removal and install. Again, if you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on your push notification. And also, if you guys need any prepaid auto body parts, go to redmotor.com, your prepaid auto body parts source. Thank you.